We clapped and we cheered while they risked their lives to save ours. Now we're being asked to make another sacrifice, a national lockdown to stop our NHS from being overwhelmed. In terms of deaths over the winter, there's the potential for this to be twice as bad or more in terms of the first wave, compared to the first wave. Over the next six weeks into early December, the numbers exceed the numbers of hospitalizations in the first wave peak. The government has been warned that if it fails to act now, by December, the NHS will run out of all capacity. There is a rise in number of people going into hospital with COVID over time. It is now at quite a high level, and if things went wrong, the, the margin of error is very, very small. We have very little headroom, even uh, in the one area where there is some flattening at the moment. The warnings have been sounded for weeks. Hospitals in some regions are already at capacity and dealing with a surge in cases. At this rate, the capacity warnings would come true, even after elective procedures are cancelled. We were expecting last time that other NHS activity would continue to a, a certain extent and for whatever reason it didn't happen. But we're really clear and we want to get the message out to the public that COVID in the community needs to be kept at, at as low a level as we possibly can so that we can continue to give health care to everybody else in the NHS who needs to have it as well. And that hope to continue treatment for all is one of the most important reasons for acting now. As we entered into the first wave, there was the fear of the unknown. This time, it's a fear of the known. Hospitals are much better drilled at creating surge capacity, and there are scientific advancements for patients in critical care. Two little girls help a fairy who... The challenge for the NHS this time round is to keep hospitals open for COVID and non-COVID patients. That's why news of the lockdown fills Haley Burrows with dread. She's been waiting for a hysterectomy since last year, when her endometriosis was diagnosed. They've told me in November a year ago that I needed it done in an emergency setting very quickly and it's been a year and we know the pandemic is only getting worse and it's going to be a long time before clinics are up and running and surgeries are going to be open again. When am I going to get it? Am I going to get it? Am I going to have to live like this for the next year or so? I don't feel like I can. This time there is no national directive to stop routine operations but some trusts have already been forced to pause non-emergency operations again. Oh, my God, be careful, you're at your bottom. The worry for <laughs> Haley and thousands of other patients like her is that theirs might be too. Ashish Joshi, Sky News.